In this video, I'm going to go over the three basic parts to aerobic respiration. The first part is called glycolysis. The second part is called the Krebs cycle. And the third part is called the electron transport chain. We will begin our tour with a molecule of glucose that will be fed into this process called glycolysis. From this, glycolysis produces two molecules of ATP from the oxidation of that glucose. The leftovers from glycolysis go to the Krebs cycle. Complex biochemical reactions in the Krebs cycle produce another two ATP. And the leftovers from the Krebs cycle go to the electron transport chain, which through even more complicated chemical reactions produces 34 ATP. Carbon dioxide gas is produced as a waste product from the Krebs cycle, so we'll write CO2 right there. And since we're talking about aerobic respiration, we will show oxygen gas entering the electron transport chain here. Both the Krebs cycle and the electron transport chain happen in the membrane-bound organelle known as the mitochondria. Mitochondrion for singular. While glycolysis happens in the cell's cytoplasm. So no organelle is needed for glycolysis. Since both the Krebs and the ETC happen in the mitochondrion, we'll consider that they're both aerobic. While glycolysis happening in the cytoplasm does not use oxygen, and we will refer to it as an anaerobic process. Animals are aerobic creatures and they use all three processes, starting with glycolysis 1, Krebs cycle 2, and the electron transport chain 3. Same with plants when they're growing and those other species mentioned in the other video. There are many species of bacteria and things like yeasts that are anaerobic and they only use glycolysis. Just look at the benefit if you breathe oxygen like an animal. You can get a whopping 38 molecules of ATP from every molecule of glucose that enters the system. Bacteria, on the other hand, can only get two ATP from each molecule of glucose, and the rest is wasted. All right, that's it.